this, this disturbing video earlier this week showing a man holding what appears to be a rifle in Plaza Midwood. Since then, business owners have voiced their concerns about safety in the popular Charlotte neighborhood. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis is live in Plaza Midwood tonight where business owners, they held an emergency meeting this afternoon to talk about safety in the area. What do they have to say, Morgan? Yeah, Brian, well, they got together pretty quickly after they heard about those shootings that happened within 12 hours last weekend, and they really wanted to figure out what they could do to try to keep Plaza Midwood a quaint and safe community. That was just like, wow, that I had never seen. Shootings like this one at 10 a.m. along Central Avenue that caused a crowd to scatter into the street and video of a man with a gun crouched behind a car outside a Plaza Midwood restaurant have business owners asking what they can do to keep their neighborhood safe. I immediately got on a text thread with a bunch of business owners and said, hey, is everybody all right? Um, what do you guys want to do? And our board uh, decided to call a meeting this week to kind of find out more from CMPD. A couple dozen area business owners, CMPD and Councilman Larkin Eggleston, met to discuss how they can prevent these unpredictable shootings. One thing that they were talking about is going back to doing off-duty police officers, which we always did pre-COVID. <laughs> Today's discussion was a starting point with ideas of what they can do in the future. When it comes to the investigation into who was involved in these shootings, today police confirmed the one along Central Avenue was the result of a rowdy release at Social Status, which prides itself on carrying top-of-the-line shoe brands. People really do care about these shoes a lot, and they, they'll do anything to get them. So they sell them at the retail price, you know, and people want to buy them to either wear them or sell them at a higher price. The store tells Queen City News they're already planning to hire security to make sure future releases don't turn violent. Maybe an issue like this won't happen again if um, they have a security officer there. So this association is going to continue the conversation at their next meeting. Options on the table right now are more security cameras in the area, continuing to have good conversation between all the businesses and possibly hiring some off-duty CMPD officers. That last one might be a little tough, though. CMPD doesn't exactly have a lot of officers to spare right now, and if they do hire off-duty off officers, that's going to come out of their own pockets. Reporting live in Plaza Midwood, I'm Morgan Francis, Queen City News.